r slash ask reddit by ready reddit what's your best crazy ex story i'm interested in just how crazy people are sometimes posted it before so i will give the short version old college friend is coming over to visit she asks where are your biscuits huh you know when someone comes over you should have an array of snacks like biscuits to offer them he's not coming over for biscuits then what will you offer him I got some homebrew. Two days later she says. Anyone who doesn't have biscuits doesn't respect friends and family and breaks up with me. This is not during the first two weeks of the relationship. This is when we were engaged. Needless to say, I was an idiot to be with her and we never married. Thank god. This feels British. Probably the most British thing I've read all day. When I was 21 I started dating this guy who was about 30. I was one of those girls who insisted I needed to date older guys because I was so mature. Never mind the fact that he lived with his hoarder mother, had no job, no car, but plenty of I'm so much better than everyone attitude. He was basically emotionally a teenager and just an ass. He'd insult me constantly, publicly make fun of my appearance. He couldn't take no for an answer. He wanted to hang out every day when I was exhausted from 10 hour shifts at work. One time when I was sick, I told him I couldn't pick him up that day. He insisted on it because he wants to take care of me. Whatever. I agreed, drove the 30 minutes to pick him up and back. He spent the whole day just pching. I'm bored. Why won't you talk more? Don't you appreciate me coming over? Why do you want to sleep? Spend time with me. I didn't have to do this etc. He was insanely jealous and suspicious. My yard at the apartment I lived in sloped down from the road and the wind always blew down trash people threw out of their cars, including a cigarette, but in the driveway, and he saw it and accused me of cheating because it wasn't his brand. Finally broke up with him. He stole and broke my iPod. He texted me nearly a year later to inform me that he was getting married to the perfect woman and was so much happier. Then 6 months after that, to inform me that she cheated on him, and they split up. He wanted a hookup, I declined. He claimed he had nudes of me from when we dated and threatened me with them. I told him he was pathetic. He sporadically texted me since then, but I never reply anymore. Maybe my nudes are out there somewhere, but whatever. <laughs> Summarizing. He was the kind that never apologized and bought people with expensive gifts every time he'd fuck up. When he did that to me, I broke with him and refused taking his gifts. He was very confused and kept asking why I wouldn't go back to him since he bought me so many good stuff and didn't understand even after I lectured him, becoming increasingly angrier with my friendly refusals. Then he threw the things against the wall and rammed his head through the window. Broken glass and blood everywhere. I called an ambulance and his family and after that I noped out of the relationship for good. Nowadays he's married but our mutual friends say he's still in love with me and doesn't hide it from the wife. He asks them questions and try to set up accidental encounters. I ask them not to share information about me with him anymore. It was sounding quite tame until the head through the window. My ex-husband started taking shots of Patron after popping a handful of Percocets while we were out to dinner with our children to celebrate his birthday. During the celebration, he had his phone up his butt and had been texting his brother the entire evening. On our way home, with me at the helm of the vehicle, he decided it was a brilliant idea to throw his phone out the window at a stop sign. I put the car in park, exited the vehicle, retrieved his phone. And when I returned to the car I put his phone behind me, so he wouldn't do it again. You old thought that I had shot his mother. He began trying to turn off the car, started hitting the steering column, was screaming at the top of his lungs. It was manic. When we got home, he jumped out of the car, sans phone, and I told the children to stay put. I popped it in reverse and started moving down the driveway. That mother ducker came hauling but down the driveway like a banshee and jumped on the running board, face melted into a frightening state of rage and tried to beat out the driver's window of my car. At this point, my children were in the back seat screaming and crying and there was no ducking way in hell I was going to let them witness as their mother get beat to a bloody pulp, so I threw the car in gear and hit the accelerator. 
he flew off the truck and I took off and didn't stop until I got to my mom's. He cancelled both my phone and his since I still had it. Turns out he had been texting his brother about going out for his birthday and picking up chairs. You know. Since I wasn't going to put out. He called the police and told them I tried to run him over and asked them to do a welfare check on the kids at my mom's. The police talked to the kids and saw the obvious marks on my window from his face and fists and knew his story was poo. I left that day with the clothes on our backs. The kids were subjected to so much poo after I left and I finally had it made to where they never have to visit with him without supervision again. It's that bad. I'm now remarried to a much much better man. He's a much better role model for the kids. This isn't a story about a crazy ex of mine, but rather one of my younger brothers that I ended up having to deal with. Years ago I developed a heavy following on Tumblr because I shared the fun music I made there. My younger brother, I think he was 13 or 14, thought the website looked fun and made himself an account. Now I didn't know about this until it had gone really far, but one of my fans who was my age, which would have been 16 or 17, decided to initiate an online flirtation and then a relationship with my still in middle school brother. It made me really mad once I found out about it, but at the same time I knew that he would be encountering slash dating girls all his life and nothing would be more wounding to street cred than having your Tumblr famous big sister step in on one of your relationships. My stance was to stay out of it, but I couldn't help but notice that my brother was going in and out of really severe moodiness, and I felt like it had something to do with her. So I looked up her blog. This girl was definitely cracked, either that, or she was exploring a mentally ill Tumblr persona. Posted constantly about voices in her head, and how she wanted to kill herself, but she couldn't leave him meaning my middle school aged brother, behind, or how he did, or said something, that made her want to cut herself, or whatever. Tons and tons of psycho manipulative bullshit. So I did what any loving older sister would do, ran one of her self eyes through reverse google image search to see if I could find a match on Facebook, ended up getting her full name, searched her name, found her in an online newspaper article for being on the honor roll, called the school, was put through to her guidance counselor, and described in detail the girl's behavior. I also emailed the GC screenshots from the girl's blog. GC said that behavior seemed very out of character for her, aiding my suspicion that the blog was make-believe and that it would be addressed right away. According to what she told my brother in her last messages to him, she was called down to the guidance office, her parents were there, she found out that someone had reported her blog and they went through it in front of her, making her explain every post. It was gone the next day and she never made an effort to contact my little brother again. So get this. I dated a guy in my late high school years who was very reserved and was very handsome. The first 7 or 8 months were unreal. I was so happy and things were going great. Soon thereafter he and I decided to tell each other our deepest darkest secrets. 10 tenths do not recommend. He told me that when he was young he used to cut holes in his stuffed animals and would duck them. I had no idea what to think. But I honestly didn't feel like it was the worst thing someone could do, so I just let it reside in the back of my mind. For unrelated reasons things got a little rocky in the months after. He became so jealous and overprotective. He would come up to my work and watch me for hours. He would drive me to and from wherever I needed no matter what. He would also get so upset when I spent any time away from him. When I did get the opportunity to hang out with friends he would always buy me flowers or pillow pets and leave them on my car, almost as if he was letting me know he was watching. This just got worse over the next 3 months and I figured it was probably time to end things. I decided I was just going to drive over and just let him know things weren't working out. Simple enough, right? Wrong. When he figured out what I was doing and completely lost it, punched holes in everything, broke whatever was in sight, and had a full on episode. When I got to the house he was waiting for me in his truck, which was completely ripped apart, might I add. I figured it probably wasn't the best idea to get out of the car, so I turned around to drive away in the crazy, but busted out his truck window, and then followed dangerously close to my car. After about a half hour of him riding my, but he finally let off, and called me claiming he wrecked his truck. 
I went back to get him, but I'll skip the details on the endless crazy, but sht he pulled that night. Needless to say it was over. A few months after the breakup I decided it was probably a good time to get all of the things I had left at his house. It was mostly clothes, but I always left the stuffed animals he got me there just because. Long story short I walked into his closet, the walls were still completely demolished from his episode, and I found some of the pillow pets he had bought throughout the relationship. I grabbed my favorite one, a grey elephant named Charlotte, and on the underside she was just covered in jizz. By covered I mean graciously glazed from multiple endeavors. Side note, it is so weird typing this out. It never seemed as crazy as it actually is. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for watching Ready Reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash ask Reddit videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.